Have you seen how on some websites like Apple and Tesla, they have like this cool nav bar that is dynamic and makes it easy for visitors to find what they're looking for? Well, before you couldn't do this on high level unless you added like a bunch of code and it was very complicated, but now they've made it so that it's easier than ever to build something like this. In this video, I'm gonna show you how so you can add this as well and take your high level website to the next level. I am on high level right now and this is a remake that I made of Tesla's official website if you haven't watched that video you can watch this afterwards but today i'm going to show you specifically how i added this on high level like you see right here before I get to that, what we have right now is a traditional nav bar right here. Before, the only option that we had was to add sub menus, kind of like dragging and dropping them inside. So you see that when I hover over services, I had this sub menu, but you couldn't really do something cool like you see on some other website builders out there. Now, if you click add item, you see that there's two options. There's the new menu and the mega menu. I'm going to click mega menu. And now you see that I have the option to build kind of like how I would do on the website editor within here i could add headlines buttons for instance just like this now you see that within my sub menu i can get really creative and add some very cool stuff so i'm gonna click here on the vehicles and you see that this is a new mega menu what i'm gonna add is at a five column row. And the reason why is that if I take a look at Tesla's actual website right here, I see that there's four different columns and then there's this kind of like navigation bar here. So let me just do that very quickly on high level. Now that I've added the five columns, actually what I'm gonna do is just add one and then duplicate it just because it'll be easier. What I'm gonna do first is add an image and then underneath this image, I'm gonna add a sub headline very quickly. And then here, the easiest way to do something like this where I have like two buttons side by side would just be to add a regular paragraph but I'm going to show you how to style it so it looks just like on Tesla's website. The first thing that I'm going to do is add an image so let me do that very quickly and the first car was the Model S which is this one right here and I'm going to type Model S right here. Now I notice that here we have the learn and order so what I'm going to do is instead of having all of this right here I'm just going to hit learn and then I'm going to add a bunch of spaces right here and type the word order just like this and in this case you see that the learn takes to one page and the order to a different page. So to do this, what I'm gonna do is highlight this learn text right here and then click the hyperlink right here and then I would just give it a URL. In this case, I'm just gonna do gohighlevel.com but of course you would put your actual URL, hit save and then I would do the same for this one just like this and for the color, don't worry, I'm gonna change this in just a sec but I'm just gonna do gohighlevel.com as well. To change the links, what I would do is click this right here and for the link color, I'm gonna click a lighter gray just like this and now you see that this looks pretty good. Good. One thing that I do notice is that I would like to make this a little bit more bold. So what I'm going to do is play around with the font weight right here from normal to bold, just like this. And now that I spent some time really styling this one column right here, what I'm going to do is duplicate it a few times right here. One, two, and three. And of course, what I'm going to do next is change the different images. So to do this, I would click this right here, go here. And I believe the next car was the model three. So let me just find that very quickly. It's this image right here here and then replace this with model three. So we have the four cars right here. The easiest way to add the next two would be to duplicate this just like this and then get rid of everything that we don't need kind of like this. And then in this case, I would do cyber truck and then add the image of the cyber truck, which is this one just like this. And then the last one is the help me choose, which I think was this image and then type help me choose one thing that i am noticing is that the fonts here were a lot smaller so let me just play around with that from 23 i think what i'm going to do is do 16 and then change that for all of these different sub headlines just like this now that we have this let me go ahead and preview to show you what we have versus what tesla's website looks like so this is the website that i built on high level when i hover over vehicles this is what it looks like we still need to add the different menu items right here and this is tesla's actual website so you see pretty similar not quite the same the one thing that you notice on High Level's website, it's not like it covers the entire section side to side. I don't think I'll be able to add the different menu items spanning from the first row to the second row just because we have a different layout that we are playing around with. What I'm going to do is add a paragraph just like this and then start adding the different menu items. So I think the first one was inventory, used cars, demo drives. So let me just do that very quickly. Then for the advanced right here, make it so that the line height is, let's say, two just like this or maybe even just one point 
eight. And then of course I want this so that it's left aligned like this. And you see that here there's like this line. So I'm going to show you how to do this as well. So first of all, what I'm going to do is click on this column. I'm going to make it so that it has a lot more padding. So let's do 40 on this side and then 40 on this side, just like this. And then the other thing is I need to add a line just here. I don't have that option, so I'll have to do it with custom code. How I think I'm going to add this is by going to advanced first, copy the CSS selector right here of the column, and then I'm going to click the custom CSS right here, open up some space for myself. If you haven't added any code, this will be blank. In my case, I already have some code for different effects, but I'm going to paste this right here. And if we take a look at this right here, it had a border on the left of this right here. So that's kind of like what I'm going to do right now. Border left, one pixel solid. And for the color, I'm going to do a light gray and the hex code for that would be something like this. And I'm going to hit save right here. And now you see that I have this light gray border here. It's kind of like what Tesla had, very subtle. So what I'm going to do is preview to show you what this looks like versus Tesla's actual site. So this is my website that I built on high level. You see that when I hover over vehicles, I have that line right here, which is very similar to Tesla's actual website right here. That is how very easily you can build mega menus on high level so that you make it easier for your prospects to navigate your site in a way that's more visual and easy to understand. If you want to take your high level websites to the next level, make sure that they stand out. What you can do is get a copy of a Notion doc. It has step-by-step -step tutorials and it's easy to follow even if you don't know any code at all. So click the link in the description and get your own copy.